All right, guys and gals, Crypto Kurt here with another crypto video. And today we're going to be talking about the VEN to VET token swap. As usual, disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. And this video should be construed for research, education, and entertainment purposes only. All right, everyone. So I actually had no idea this was happening. I bought some VeChain. I bought a couple of chunks of VeChain over the last few months and had about 50% of it in my Exodus wallet and the other 50% sitting on my exchange, which at the time was CoinSpot. And as we all preach to everyone out there that you shouldn't leave your coins on exchanges because they own them, not you. In this instance, leaving the coins on the exchange was probably the best thing I could have done. So basically what happening, what's happening is VeChain is launching its own uh, blockchain and it sold the VEN tokens, uh, the RC20 tokens on the Ethereum network and the ICO, but now they're switching all the tokens over to the Ethereum, to the um, VeChain network and it's a 100 to 1 swap. So for every one VEN that you have, you get 100 VET tokens. And if you don't have your tokens on an exchange, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, especially if you have them in Exodus Wallet. So anyone who has VEN tokens, VeChain tokens in Exodus Wallet, I double checked with the support today and the Exodus Wallet is not supporting the swap. Okay, so if your VEN tokens are sitting in, ex in your Exodus Wallet, you are not going to get your VET tokens if you just leave them sitting there. But there are a few things that you can do and there are four different ways that you can do the swap. And I think um, most of them require you to download the um, the. Uh, hang on, yeah, you have to download the VeChain Thor wallet, okay? And that's an Android app, so you can't put that on your PC. You have to put that on your phone. So let's just go through this quickly. There's a bit of a timeline. So on June 30th, they did an Xnode snapshot on the Ethereum network. And what's, just so you know what this is, Xnode snapshot basically was um, for people who had purchased v VEN tokens or VeChain tokens before March 20th, and I don't know what the exact breakdown was, like what the minimum was, but if you had purchased your VEN tokens before March 20th, you actually get some kind of special bonus, and you're going to get airdrops and stuff. I unfortunately bought my first batch on March 30th, so I wasn't... Um, uh, I didn't have, I'm not going to get that benefit, but if you did purchase uh, VEN tokens prior to March 20th, you can utilize one of these processes and set yourself up with this Xnode thing, and uh, it'll help with the transfer as well. So we'll walk through that, what the instructions say to how to do that. <clears throat> On July 9th, they released the mobile wallet. Mid-July, they're actually doing the swap. So it was actually today. So today is the 25th of July in Australia. It's 6 p.m. right now. I logged into my exchange account this morning at about 10 a.m. and I noticed when I went to go send my VEN tokens over to my Exodus wallet that the CoinSpot exchange had locked them down and it clearly said that they were supporting the VEN to VET transfer and they were in the process of um, doing that. Now I had no idea what the time frame was going to be on that, but when I rechecked into my wallet at about 4 p.m., it actually occurred. So, uh, so the, the, the VET tokens are now sitting, half my VET tokens Half my VEN tokens are now VET tokens sitting in my exchange wallet. The other half are still VEN tokens sitting in the Exodus wallet. So um, if we carry on here, mid-July, they're going to do the changes. Um, in mid-August, they're going to start off the uh, wallet swap token. And in mid-August, the end of the Xnode binding. So why I'm doing this public service video is because these are the first instructions I found. They were uh, they ranked well on Google, and it was a pretty pretty um, good breakdown of how to how to do the transfer. But if we walk through this, and I'll show you where I got a little confused. So you scroll down, and you can see they got the table of contents. They've got some FAQs, and this was the first method to swap a Vendivet without using the VeChain wallet and using an exchange. Okay, that's easy, and they say that's the least secure because you don't own the tokens, but it was the easiest, and as I said, that occurred for me today on CoinSpot, and basically you just have to leave your tokens there. You can see that if you had your tokens on BitThumb, Binance, Bitfinex, um, LBank, Huobi, uh, CoinSpot, or KuCoin, that those are all happening on your behalf. So the VET will just appear, and your VEN will disappear, uh, which again is easy. Here we're going to go method B, swapping Venn to Vet using the VeChain wallet. Okay, so basically you have to go download the wallet, and this is aimed at non Xnode Venn holders. So these are those of us who purchased VEN tokens after March 20th. 
and we don't have a hardware wallet, but we prefer but prefer to use the VeChain wallet to perform the token swap, okay? So basically you download or install a wallet, you accept the service agreement, you set up a six digit login password, you click create wallet. Then it says after the creation of your wallet, you'll be given a unique uh, mnemonic phrase, which you write down. And the mnemonic phrase is your only way to restore your wallet if needed in the future. So make sure you keep it safe. They clearly say don't take a screenshot of it. Don't save it on your phone. Um, after installation of the wallet, the mnemonic phrase will be destroyed, and there's no way to recover this. So if you lose your if you lose your recovery mnemonic phrase and you lose your phone, you basically have lost those tokens or any tokens that you have stored in that wallet. So be really careful about that. All right, so here's where the confusing part says, it says, do not send your ERC-20 VIN to this VET wallet. All right, now we have created a wallet. We can start with the actual token swap process. You click on me, which shows up here in the bottom of the, of the wallet on the homepage, and then VET token swap service, accept the service agreement, and click on start. Okay, well, here's the confusing part, guys and gals. There is no uh, VET token swap service currently in the app. So I started to kind of freak out a little bit. I'm like, oh, my God, what's going on? So um, if we scroll on down, they do have some other. Uh, there's a method B. There's a C. That's if you're going to set up your Ven X node. And then the last option, if we come down to the bottom, is um, let, uh, method D, which is setting up your Ven X node to vet using your Ledger Nano hardware wallet. So if you do have your tokens on a Ledger, Ledger Nano hardware wallet, you can use this process on this description um, on this particular page. And I'll leave a link to this in the description box of the video. But again, I was totally confused, bamboozled, if you will, because there was no um, place to click um, and get you know what that step was to start this uh, VeChain swap service. So then I come over here to this page. And this page is from a different uh, site. And again, I'll leave the um, I'll leave the link here. And this is uh, even a longer document. This is um, this is a 24 page uh, long document which goes through everything step by step again. But it clearly shows us this. Okay, so it's showing us again. We can download the VeChain Thor mobile wallet. We can bind our Xnode ERC20s if we had enough and purchased before March 20th. You can swap your tokens. Um, which is what we're talking, trying to learn here. And then uh, your tokens in the wallet per step and start earning uh, V. Oh, that's another thing. It's interesting. Once you have your v VET tokens and you're in the wallet, you're, they're in your VeChain wallet, you're going to start uh, earning extra token, an extra token kind of just like if you have NEO and you can earn gas. So by holding your tokens in their wallet, you're actually going to be staking into another token yet again. That's a kind of a buy, uh, uh, a little buy, buy bonus, if you will. All right, so we come all the way down to page 21, and here we have non-Xnode holders. For non-Xnode holders, please download the VeChain Thor wallet on July 9th on the uh, Apple App Store or Android app market. Uh, we will start the VET token swap via the mobile wallet after the Xnode binding process has been completed. The estimated date is mid-August. So you're not even, they're not even going to have the VET uh, swap available in the app so here it is. The estimated date of VeChain Thor Wallet starts VET token swap services mid-August. Exact date should be announced via the official Twitter. So uh, once again, if you are in my sim situation and you downloaded the, um, or you're in the trying to do this, and you're sitting here scratching your head saying, what the hell? This is what the hell. Um, you, once you've downloaded the app, you're going to have to wait until mid-August before the app is going to be updated with the VET swap service. All right. So there's really no the only the only issues with time frames or if you do have this X node there's some there's some time limits you have to get your token swapped before July 30th and then there's a something there's another September um, deadline for something else for the X nodes but again if if you have an X node hopefully you're probably across this if you're not then you need to go check out you know where where you are in this whole process so again if you have Ven it's going to be changed over to VET. In the exchanges, in my exchange, it happened today, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be happening you know, this week across all the other exchanges. They're supposed to be finished with that by the end of August, and then sometime in the mid-August, you're going to have this opportunity here, just make that a little bit bigger for you, where you're going to be able to come in and use their swap service and get your tokens swapped out. Uh, from your VEN tokens over to your VET tokens. So again, you can see the swap 1 VEN equals 100 VET.
So that's it. So once again, public announcement here. If you're in the process, if you have Venn tokens, there, you do have to take some action to get it changed over to VET unless you've left them on the exchange. And then if you've left them off the exchange, I would highly suggest you set the wallet up and move the tokens to your wallet so you can start getting the VH, uh, whatever the other tokens were that are the, um, the gas, uh, which will be used on the network. All right, guys, that's it. Crypto Kurt out.